This PABC tutorial on getting the best answer to a clinical question will introduce you to how to phrase a clinical question in the way that will get you the best evidence. It will involve phrasing the question to include information about the patients, interventions, controls, and outcomes desired as necessary. Your success in getting a good answer often relies upon asking a well-designed question. The first step in searching is to properly ask the question. Suppose you have the question, should I use a tensor bandage or a compression bandage for an amputated stump? Typical questions are broad and this leads to a lot of unwanted results. Getting a good or precise answer requires a well-defined question. This applies regardless of whether you are using a biomedical database or Google. A better, more defined clinical question uses four elements as necessary. P, I, C, and O. What do these letters stand for? P refers to patient or population. I refers to intervention. C to comparison. And O is outcome. Let's look at these elements one at a time. P represents the patient or population or problem. It describes the patient or group of patients you are interested in. For example, their age, gender, condition, or severity of condition. I represents the intervention. It describes the main treatment you are considering. For example, prevention, therapy, or a rehabilitation measure. C represents the comparison or control. It describes the alternative treatment being considered, if there is one. O represents the outcome. It describes what you hope to accomplish. For example, a reduction in pain, a reduction in swelling, or an increase in strength. From this, the broad question previously asked might be better formulated and worded as, for the diabetic adult patient over 65 years of age with an amputated lower limb, is the use of a tensor bandage or a compression bandage more effective at managing swelling? For this newly framed question, the PICO elements are the patient is a diabetic adult over 65 years of age with an amputated lower limb, the intervention is a tensor bandage, the comparison intervention is a compression bandage, and the outcome is reduced swelling. After formulating the question using PICO, the next search steps are choosing the database to search, for example, PubMed, Sinal, or Pedro, choosing the search terms, in other words, keyword or index terms, and choosing the limits, for example, age, gender, language, publication year, and publication type. These next steps in searching will be explained and demonstrated in the PABC tutorials that follow. Thanks for watching, and please check out the other tutorials available through the PABC website.